Hello, I'm Jimmy from Jimmy's Neighborhood Bees. Welcome to the neighborhood. Um, a quick one today because there's not much going on. Again, it's, it's um, what is this, October? It's almost my uh, 40th anniversary, so uh, I got that going. But as far as the bees, there's hardly nothing that I need to do um, for them. However, I am doing some stuff, so I'm going to get to that. Let me, let me read this. Oh, fortunes. You will step on the soil of many countries. That I really hope is true. I enjoy traveling, Sharon and I, uh, whether it be here in the United States or anywhere overseas uh, for the most part. So we've been to a lot of places and we still got a lot of places we want to go. Um, so yeah, and if you see us, if we're going to a place, we don't usually say we're going until we get back. But if you see us there and you're watching these videos, don't be afraid to say, hey, I saw your video. Anyway, so that's it. And that's no matter where we are. If we're in Arizona, uh, California, Texas, whatever. If you see and you recognize, say hi. I'll say hi. And and we'll, we'll have a laugh about something. I don't know what. Anyway, on the board, I started, I started oxalic acid treatment again. Uh, so this will be my second one for right before winter. So I already treated on the 20th of October um, and I'm doing it every five days. So the next one is due the 25th of October. Uh, that would be tomorrow. So tomorrow night I'll come out here and I do it in the evening when all of the bees are back in the hive. Um, I'll just, uh, you, you, I got those, those little screw things in the back of the hive. I stick my Larabis, uh wherever it's over here. I stick my Larabis vaporizer in. Five minutes, I'm done with the, each hive. Plug it back in, and I'm I'm good to go. I did learn one lesson uh, on the on the farmhouse hive. The little plug, the little uh, thing that I got to stick up to plug up the hole, is not quite long enough, so the bees propolized the end of that hole. So I have to take this long screwdriver out there, punch out the hole just to make sure it's open all the way to the hive, and then uh, go ahead and shoot the oxalic acid in. Now, if you don't do that, you're gonna put the oxalic vaporizer in the hole, but it's gonna be clogged up, so it's not gonna go in the hive, and eventually it might pop the top off of the, uh, the, little, uh, the little cups. I'm not gonna say how I found that out, but I found that out. <laughs> anyway, so that's all I got. I got the um, the dates here on the board. Uh, the 25th, the 30th of October, 11th of November, or 4th of November, and then the 9th of November. So that'll be five more treatments by uh, the end of November, or by November. And then that way, that'll be the second round of oxalic acid treatment. And the bee should be good to go for winter. I still had brood in there the last time I looked in there. Uh, I guess because of the way the, the, the farmhouse is, is, is designed um, and those big giant frames, she just doesn't stop laying. Well, neither one of them so far, but that's a good thing, I guess. Uh, so you, you saw that I had the um, Hive Alive fondant. So uh, I'm gonna feed liquid because, oh, that's what I wanted to say. This weekend coming up here in, in Central Virginia, the temperature Saturday is supposed to be 84 degrees Fahrenheit. I'll put the, the, the uh, Celsius down here, but that's hot for the end of October for us. I mean, our average should be 70 degrees high. So the lows are not going to get below freezing. So I'm going to put another gallon on each hive. Last week, I didn't, they were not feeding. This week, they'll, I'll put a gallon on and see how long it takes them to use it. And by the time I do my uh, oxalic acid treatment on the 30th, if, if, the, uh, if they use it all, then I'll look at the weather in the future, like the next week, and see what the weather was like. And if it goes down to freezing, then I'll, you know, I'll not feed liquid. Um, anyway... So I may just, you know, go ahead and stick on the fondant packs and then I just have to check the fondant packs once once every week or so. If they take it, they take it. If they don't, they don't. 
uh, but it'll be there if they need it. So anyway, let me get on out here. I'm going to show you. I'll just show you. But I'm going to put on my suit or, or my jacket. I say suit, but I, I mean jacket and my gloves because I'm not going to use any smoke. And I'll fill up my bucket. I need to buy a couple of more buckets, uh, one gallon buckets, so that I can always have a couple full and swap them out a lot faster than taking the bucket off, cover up the hole, fill the bucket up, and then put it back, the same bucket. So I'll, I'll probably pick up a few more at the North American Honey Bee Expo uh, when we go in January. Anyway, all right, let me get out there and do that. As I make a mess. <laughs> okay. I really don't mind putting on my, my um, jacket and gloves when I'm working with the bees. That's why I can always say I've only been stung three times in the four, four and a half years or so I've been keeping bees. I got an extra top lid. I'm just gonna put it down. So to, and now I gotta fill up my fill up this bucket. It for that. Let's let you guys take a peek inside. And that's it. So, um, I don't know if you can see, but I draw a circle so I know where to put the bucket. And that's it for this one. Let's go to the next one. Okay. A couple of bees got out. Why wear a veil? Get from in front of me. Get him. Scooch.
Okay. That's it. I just put the buckets on. Uh, they'll be happy with that for the next few days. I'll write on here with today's date and put the buckets that I put uh, the one gallon on each, each hive. And uh, that's it. So, again, anything else that, um, that I'm, I'll be doing, it's probably repetitive. I've probably done it before. So, you can go back and look in all the other videos to see. I know I put a video out last year about um, my winter prep. Uh, so you can, I'll put a link in the description. I'm learning how to do all of that stuff too. So I'll try to find that video and put a link in it, my winter prep. But I think that's going to be my next video. Uh, I, you don't need to see me treat anymore with the oxalic. Uh, but you know how I did it. And I'll put a link to that too. Except the only thing is I did it. I filmed it during the daytime. Uh, so everybody can see what I do and how I do it. However, I actually perform the oxalic treatment usually around 9 p.m uh my local time here in central virginia uh that way all of the field bees are in the hive um it the oxalic acid doesn't run them out at night and uh it gets it gets to cover as many bees as possible in that hive so that's why i do it at night or, or the evening early early night whatever okay anyway that's it. I'll show stuff like that, and I'll try to put those two links down at the bottom. Um, and that'll be it for now. And uh, until, well, tomorrow I'll come out, tomorrow night, I'll come out and treat oxalic acid. But you don't need to see that. Just know that it'll be done. And I'll scratch it off that date. And uh, the next video will probably be close to my winter prep stuff. All right. So that's it for now. Thank you all for watching. I want to thank everybody for subscribing, watching, uh, asking questions. If you have any questions, feel free to ask me anything. Um, I'm seeing some of the different vendors putting things online uh, to be sold at the North American Honey Bee Expo. Um, so I'm going to do a couple of pre-purchases um, that I've been thinking about. And... Um, yeah, so, and I, I, I look forward to seeing all of you guys there, those that are, are going to be there. Please come up, introduce yourself, tell me who you are, and, you know, if you want to see something specific on my channel, um, just let me know, and I'll, I'll see if I can make it happen if, or explain something or whatever. You know what I'm trying to say. Anyway, y'all have a good one, and uh, I will see y'all next time, and remember, always, 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 have fun with your bees. <laughs>